Okay, so today what we're gonna look at is a split stance row variation. So we'll look at how to not do it and then how to do it. Zoe here is gonna help me out. Thank you, Zoe. So let's get you started. Uh, we'll do how to not do it first. So first you wanna let go of the core and overarch the low back. Then we wanna jack the neck up by looking at the ceiling or to the side, or maybe at your phone. <laughs> then we're gonna pull with your arm. And as you pull, you're gonna keep your either keep your shoulder blade retracted the whole time so it doesn't move forward, or keep it protracted the whole time so you're actually kind of pulling into your arm like this. Oh, that has to feel awful. <laughs> okay, so let's correct it. So we'll tuck the hips under, engage the core, engage the glutes, nice and tall, looking straight ahead. And as you pull, you're articulating the scapula to retract and then scapula comes forward with work. Good, and then retracts back and you can add a little bit of a twist if you want. Because the core is and the hips are stable, the twist will now be felt in the obliques instead of in your hip joint. Great, good job. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do a split stance row. Thank you.